In this video, we are going to show how to create a template background in Google Slides using the Edit Theme or Theme Builder feature. So we have our uh, slideshow here, we're in Google Slides, and we're going to use um, the Theme Builder or Edit Theme option, which you can either access under View and Theme Builder, or you can go to a specific slide and go to Slide and then Edit Theme. Either option will work to bring up the theme builder or edit theme view, which is this view of the background um, options for your theme. You can use that X in the upper right to move back and forth. So you can see when we open up theme builder or edit theme, it looks the same. So in this background theme builder view, you can change the placeholders and that template for your actual slideshow. So the very top option is the overall theme that you can change, which will set um, kind of a cascading option for all of your slides. So we can go through here and change that background and you can see that applies to all of the slides because we changed that top theme. Then we can go through and edit fonts and colors and change that and you'll see again it applies to all the layout options below because I am changing that top theme option. So I can choose what fonts and colors I would like to apply to any slide that I add to this slideshow. Then I can go through and manually adjust the layouts for this theme. So I can add different placeholders. I can move these placeholders around. I can add shapes and um, anything for a nice background structure. So I can use this to create a structure for my students that is editable on my side in the edit theme view. But when I share this slideshow with students, it would be um, static in the background. So they would just be able to add to the slides um, and uh, build on top of it, use the placeholders like the text boxes and things like that. So when we close out of the edit theme, just with what we have here, when we go to layout, you'll see that layout that we adjusted in the edit theme is now available to insert as a new slide. So you can customize your layouts however you would like to give that template for your students to interact with in a slideshow. So we can add new text boxes as that background. So I can structure this to be like a graphic organizer for my students and then also include text placeholders for students to type into. Um, and image placeholders as well, which we'll see in a moment. So you can see that main idea text box that I just added is not clickable because it is part of the background theme. So I can add in some of those directions and things like that in the background that are not going to be editable because they're not a placeholder. So this, uh, the yellow text here, the white text where it says click to edit, um, those are placeholders. So we can insert those by going down to insert and then placeholder. We can add in new title, subtitle, or body text placeholders, which would be clickable um, and editable on the student side. And then you can also now add image placeholders, which is a really cool feature. So it's going to be clickable and it will be um, a quick way for students to insert an image into this slide um, that's going to have a nice structure for them. So now you can see this is the completed slide on the student side when they would open up this slideshow. And the text boxes that I added are not editable for students. They can only edit the uh, placeholders that I added. So when they click on that image placeholder, it gives them a quick shortcut to the insert image op options. And then that image is going to automatically be inserted into that placeholder. So because I have the rounded rectangle, it will automatically take that uh, shape and then I can edit that um, by double clicking on it um, as needed. So you can add um, different uh, image placeholders, text placeholders, and edit your theme to give a nice structure for a template for any student assignment in Google Slides.